Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my loves. I just recently uploaded a video today of to, to figure out or to see who is crushing on you. Unfortunately, I was told by Loving Life, one of the followers, that I skipped Pisces. So I apologize. Here I am doing, I, I was speaking so much in that video about the transit of Saturn being retrograde in Pisces that I completely skipped the sign of Pisces. I apologize for that, my loves, but I did promise you guys that I would be uploading today. So here we are uploading that video for you guys. All right, this is for all my lovely Pisces out there. Again, we apologize so you get a personal and separate video. All right, my loves, let's see who is crushing on you. Let's see who is coming towards you, who's having a crush, who has their eye on you, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys are interested in any personal readings or any of the personal spell work, you can uh, click the link below on the description box. You can find all of our links on there to our social medias as well, so you guys can follow us on social medias as well. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on with you. Let's see who has their eye on you. Let's see. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, spirits of divination, please step forward. Allow me to see here since you don't receive the messages loud and clearly. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, give us clarity, give us insight, allow us to see who is crushing on Pisces, who has their eye on Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go, Pisces. Let's see who is crushing on you, my loves. All righty. We are beginning here with the Six of Swords. The Hanged Man, Pisces Energy, the Chariot card, the Ten of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Eight of Swords. Okay, very interesting. For some of you guys, you are dealing with a person that is not in your vicinity. So for some of you guys, this could be a person, this connection could be at a distance. Uh, for others of you, it could be that this person, um... This person is fully aware of who you are, and I feel like you guys know exactly who this person is. Um, however, I'm, I am seeing distancing. I am seeing, um, for some of you guys, you do probably connect through social media. This could be, you know, any of the social media platforms. I feel like they've come to you or there's been some type of communication here, but I feel like it's on a superficial level. Um, what do I mean by this? I feel like they're hiding their feelings for you, but they are definitely having their eye on you. They watch you. They watch what you're posting. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is going to come as a surprise because you were definitely not expecting that or you wouldn't think that this person was actually interested in you. They're giving me very much, um, very strong personality. So this is a person that holds a very powerful aura around them. This is a person that could potentially, for some of you guys, because I'm seeing the Chariot and the Ten of Pentacles here, for some of you guys, this could be a person that is highly respected or highly admired in their profession. Um, so again, it could be potentially, for some of you guys, it could be potentially that you follow them or that they follow you on social media. Um, maybe you're a smaller account, for example. You wouldn't think that they have their eye on you, but I feel like they're being very, very drawn to you. Um, if there hasn't been a point of contact, I feel like they will be communicating with you. And again, I feel like it's going to be on a superficial level because they're trying to hide their interest for you, Pisces. Um, but I feel like as time progresses, they will eventually open up. Um, and I do see, I'm not going to lie, I do see some type of travel involved here. So for some of you guys, it could be through social media. For others of you, it could be that you've already met this person, but they are at a distance. And for some of you guys, it's maybe even thinking like it's too far. It wouldn't work out. But I feel like if you maintain yourself open to this connection, it will progress into something much more long term. Um, even if it feels like it would be very inconvenient or a bit difficult because of the distancing, don't shut yourself out immediately, Pisces, because I feel like either this person or you will definitely make it work to the point of actually making this connection uh, something much more stable, okay? Now, for others of you, what I am being shown here is um, I feel like this is a person that you've dealt with in the past where perhaps there was, again, they're talking about distancing, so 
not sure if you guys, for some of you guys, it could be that you're not in contact, you're not in communication with them. However, there is still hopefulness there or you're still hoping to hear from them. You will definitely be hearing from them in the month of July. And what I'm being shown here is, again, especially for those of you that this person is at a distance, perhaps they're not in the same city, the same state, maybe even the same country. I feel like that communication opens up in the month of July and it has a lot to do because their circumstances or situations have changed. And for some, it could be that they're being transferred or that there's an opportunity in their career where they're going to be basically being offered a position or a higher elevation of commitment um, in regards to their career and finances that will put them in a position where it's going to be much more accessible or much more easier for you guys to, I guess, make it work or balance each other, if that makes sense. So for some of you guys, this is almost the energy of a person from the past um, where maybe distance had something to do with it. I feel like circumstances and situations have changed for this person. And this person is being relocated or they will be traveling to where you're at. Uh, and that could be the beginning of when this conversation or this communication opens up for you, okay? Now, I do want to, let's see, let's see what's coming to you guys in regards to love for those of you guys that are single and not dealing with anyone. Just so I can give you guys a bit of a bonus here. Um, trying to make Pisces feel special, right, Pisces? <laughs> Only because we skipped your sign. I apologize for that, my loves. All right, spirits, please give us information in regards to those Pisces that are single. Pisces that are single, what is coming to them in regards to love and romance? What is coming to them in regards to love and romance? All right, here we go, Pisces, singles. Singles, singles, singles. Okay. Here we go. We have the King of Wands. We have, sorry, the King of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Seven of Swords, the World card, the Two of Cups, and the Five of Cups. Okay, for those of you guys that are single, are currently becoming single, and what I mean by this is if you guys have been dealing with a situation where it hasn't really balanced itself out at this point, you're at your wit's end. I do see a conclusion, some type of ending in regards to a relationship or partnership, uh, primarily with the Seven of Swords because there was sneakiness, there was cheating involved, or people stepping out of the relationship, whether it was you or whether it was them, Pisces. But I feel that as you detach from this, as you walk away from this, and instead of looking at what you've lost, if you see it as spirit's way of kind of giving you the nudge and pushing you towards the right direction you open yourself up to the possibilities and that's when spirit brings to you the person that's right for you for some of you guys they're talking about an air sign so it could be an aquarius gemini libra for others it could be another fire sign uh leo sagittarius aries uh, i see taurus here as well and i see water energy so pretty much it can be any type um any sign but what they are showing me that this is a person that is very cutthroat. This is a person about their business. This is a person that is highly um, articulate, very smart. And again, this person will not approach you or will not actively pursue you unless they feel like you have a lot of commonalities, unless they see that you have the same view or wants when it comes to a relationship. So just know that in the past, if you've dealt with people that we're vibrating from a lower frequency or a person that was deceitful. They were just not honest. This is definitely the person that's coming towards you. This is spirit's way of telling you, stop looking at the spilled milk. All right. You have two other cups behind you, meaning opp opportunities are there. Instead of being fixated on the past or what has happened in the past or what you've been through in the past, how about you become the narrator of your own movie, of your own book, and decide how it's going to be moving forward when it comes to relationships. The moment you start to do that, Pisces, you start to balance out and you start to bring towards you the person that's meant for you, that you have this major desire and want to create a home or to create something long lasting, my loves, okay? All right, Pisces, I hope you guys enjoyed these or this reading. 
like share comment let me know that you guys uh watch this video <laughs> and if you guys are interested in any of the services that we provide you can find all of that on the description box below till then bye